Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some more Marvel's Midnight Suns. Now in the last one, we kind of got introduced as to how this game is going to work. And we also created our character here who is the hunter who's supposed to hunt Lilith. I, I don't know what, what else does she hunt. I guess she hunts monsters, they said. Um, but for now, we're hunting her mom, which is Lilith. And yeah, I mean, we ran into some performance issues in the last one. So we're going to give it one more episode to see uh, because now I've lowered the graphic settings and stuff. So we'll see how a mission plays out. If it's smooth, if it's not smooth, going on, maybe we'll have to wait a week or something. To lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. Okay, so look in here. It seems like uh, we have three required heroes, which are the Hunter, Doctor Strange, and uh, Blade. And I have no idea what a gamma coil is, but I assume it's crafting or something. Oh, we can see stats and stuff. Okay, I, everyone has the same crit chance and crit damage. Oh, I can't really look at them in depth. I don't know what that means by offense, though. And also, what is Edit Hero? Oh, we have, like, other cards. I don't think we can change cards right now. This deck cannot be modified at this time. Alright, well, let's just get into the mission and see what's going on. Oh, geez. the fluctuations in the astral spectrum, I should be seeing something. Yeah. Unless Bruce is right about gamma interference. <laughs> if such a thing could even exist. Yeah, I need to remember that these people just say a bunch of pointless things. How do I... There's an arcane chest. Oh, that that's where we spawned. At the Hunter's Folly. And there was a chest behind the the crypt that we saw that we couldn't access. This area is really big, huh? So we're supposed to talk to Dr. Strange, but who's over here? Are these both people? Like, we know Blade. Who are the other people? Oh, you're that weird well girl. Okay. Yeah, all right. Let's go talk to Dr. Strange, then. Oh, we can sprint. I didn't expect this game to be a game that would have sprint in it, but okay. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Dark Hold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, oh, fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time, a Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll save your, your home. Sanctum will survive. We shall see to that. Indeed. The Sanctum Sanctorum has weathered its fair share of trouble over the years. Lay storms, a few short-tempered celestials, that issue with the zoning commission. But this time, <laughs> it feels different. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. So we got plus one friendship with Doctor Strange for that, huh? Wanda can maintain the wards, I'm certain of that. But Approach the dais. About time. 
Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. Yeah, where does that go? <laughs> this doesn't seem safe, but what could go wrong? certain of that because I am sensing all kinds of dark energy that feeling you're being watched general hellho vibe yes all these potentialities converging at once A truly surprising feat miss Rasputin for someone so young of course you think this is crazy Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet, and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. Uh... As you can tell, we appear to be... frozen. That's not great. Yeah, I think... I'm thinking this might be the last episode until uh, we get a patch of some sort. Um, I can't actually... I'm going to pause the recording until we figure it out. Oh. Does that count as figuring it out? No, probably not. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, so, I mean, just loading into this area, you already saw a few issues. So, I think we're gonna have to, we're gonna play this next mission out, and then we're probably gonna have to wait. But at least if we wait, we could probably change all the graphic settings back up to the highest. Oh, we got a loading screen. I, I'll pause for the loading screen, too. There's just too many pauses. Alright, we're finally here. Hey, I'm walking here. All I ate today was a bagel. Well, at least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. 
I suggest we hurry. Arm Alpha in position. Hydra officer dedicated, not your average Hydra goon. No one's getting through. Welcome to New York. Defeat all the enemies to complete the encounter. I hesitate to call this good news, but I'm seeing minimal Hydra resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. So we could, oh, we can't, why are these things highlighted in blue? I don't know what we could do with them. Doesn't seem to say. So it seems like we could kick this thing too, but it's not really near anyone. Or we could kick this thing. No one is going for Blade. Which makes me think that he's the best candidate to run into the middle of here. What else do we got? Chain. Select multiple targets or the same target multiple times. Okay. It says lifesteal. Recover health equal to damage dealt. It also does 25 damage. But it's a three heroic skill. Forceful knockback. Push the target in a direction, dealing damage if they pass through or impact another unit or object. Double distance and impact damage. Interesting. Quick. On KO, refund a card play. Okay, so we want to get KOs with that Doctor Strange ability. Deals damage at the end of the turn, ignores block, and resist. Oh, that's what bleed does. So you draw a card, the next two damage cards apply to bleed. So that guy's got 40 health, 20 health. We're dealing with enemies that have more health. Uh, these are still minions, I think, though? So let's switch to Blade over here. Gonna hit people with these newspapers that deal 10 damage. So I'm trying to, I guess, take out both of these guys. I don't think there's any way to hit all of them. How much damage does this deal? It deals 10. Oh, it also requires two heroism. I think. Why does this deal more damage but require less? Not quite sure I understand that, but I forgot we need to earn heroism first. So this does five damage per. How do I get it to hit both of you? How does this work? Select multiple targets. Okay. So I think I... One... And it's within a range. So maybe I want to use the make them bleed thing then? Use make them bleed. Exactly what I needed. And now we can use this whip thing. Can I whip objects? No.
Wow, oh wow, you can throw people far with this. Interesting. We drew Quick Strike. This is kind of weird with all of your card plays in a turn being shared. I kind of feel like each character should have a certain amount of card plays. Because three just doesn't seem like very much. I guess let's start with this. Hit both of these. Give the mother my regards in hell. Okay, we got one more attack of bleed. We got enough heroism. Who does this hit? Critical abilities. All damage dealing hero abilities have a chance to become critical when they are drawn. Critical abilities deal increased damage. The chance for an ability to be critical is determined by a hero's critical chance stat. The bonus damage dealt by a critical ability is determined by a hero's critical damage stat. Okay, so the... I thought the flaming sword just meant that it was a really strong attack. It turns out the flaming sword seems to mean that it's critical. So this only does a single target, huh? It has lifesteal. This will be the last card that we can play, though. Pretty much takes care of all the... Or, like, most of this guy's health. blue thing does. Can, like, only Doctor Strange interact with it or something? No. Okay, we don't have any heroism left, so I can't kick things or throw newspapers or anything. I guess that's gotta be our turn. I don't know if I want to redraw any of this stuff. As far as moving goes, though, I guess maybe I could move further away? I don't know if that helps me or not. I wonder if, like, moving behind this would help me? Let's move here. Once a hero uses move, they can continue to reuse move to reposition themselves until any hero uses an ability. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's cover in this game, as it seems. Eleven? I didn't expect you guys to start doing eleven damage. I might have gone for... I might have gone for those guys more. Engaging target! That will not Vulnerable. And reinforcements? Ah, the main course has arrived. This is going way worse than I thought it would. Counter? Wait, he's dead? Oh, bleed does way more damage than I thought it did. That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not? I feel the hand of my mother at work here. Okay, so I thought the bleed was only going to deal like two damage. So I wasn't that excited for it, but it apparently did ten damage. I don't know what this vulnerable does. No, 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 no. 
Uh, and uh, hovering over it doesn't seem to tell me what it does either. What else do we got? We got weak, reduces offense by 50%. Enchanted. Plus 50. Gains a bonus while you have a minimum amount of heroism. Okay, so we'd need more heroism for that. I wonder if it's before or after. Be Doesn't it, does this card, is this a skill? I'm still having trouble telling the difference between... Okay, so if the heroism is in the top left, then you're spending it. If it's in the bottom left, then you're gaining it. So is it before or after we spend the heroism? I would assume it'd be after we spend the two heroism. We still have to have four for that to go off. Could be wrong. What does counter do? Deal damage to any attacker for one turn. So we probably don't want to hit that guy. Um, Doctor Strange is in a bad way. So if we pick up kills with these quick cards, though, we get card play. Okay, I'm starting to get... There's a lot more quick cards than I thought there would be. And the basic guys are probably good fodder for quick cards, huh? That makes sense. Attacks with the keyword quick will refund the card play when used to KO an enemy. Yep, use quick cards on minions for a guaranteed KO. I should have done that last turn. I wasn't thinking that we could just use all of our quick cards for free on minions. So let's kill stuff. You know, we saw that in about one frame per second. Um, I wonder if we can kill two people together there. Probably going to want to use that to kill. That does 10 damage, though. That does 15 damage. Hmm. That also goes really far, but it costs two heroism, I think. Yeah, we really should have used more quick cards last turn. So, we could kill you. I think we kill all the guys over here first. Oh, I thought he killed both of them. I was like, what? Also, why did I have six cards at the beginning of this turn? Do you draw a certain number of cards per turn? I thought you just refilled your hand, but I'm starting to think you draw a certain number of cards. Which makes draw cards more powerful than I originally thought. Yeah, okay, now that I figured out that we're not really limited to playing three cards per turn, this is a lot cooler. Oh, I can hover over you like this to see what Vulnerable does? Damage taken increases by 50%. So, I want to use the whip thing, I think. So if I whip you over at this guy... That kills him and does 10 to you. I don't have enough heroism. I'm one heroism short. So do I need to move Doctor Strange over there then? Oh wait, this does 15 for only 2 heroism. Ah, oh, but I only have 3 heroism. But if this knocks someone out, I get an extra play point. So yeah, I guess this is going to have to be worth it. As long as it reaches, I don't know that it'll actually reach. These guys are kind of far away. The 
Begin the search for wealth and power. Okay, it does reach. Fascism. Hmm. Hydra will never change. I like how it says max one per ability, just to make sure you're not trying to pick up multiple off of one ability. Okay. Oh! So you just have to have four when you start to play this. That's interesting. But it also spends four. Okay, so it's like an enhanced cost from uh, Shadowverse. You can either spend two or you can spend four. And it does twice as much damage if you spend four. But I want to do this. Oh, that's going to counterattack, though. Hold up. So, what if I target you? And then hit you? You shouldn't counterattack me, right? No mercy for the servants of liberty. Yeah, he didn't counterattack me because I used someone else to hit him. And then we could just use this to kill him. Yeah, I just wish the animations were like smooth. Like this is kind of ridiculous, right? as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter, not Lilin. You were saying? The lifeblood of the mother pumps through our veins. The mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. Wanna bet? Even that cutscene was super messed up. But, I mean, we'll we'll play out this mission, and then we'll just have to wait for a patch. It's a is cool game. Going to like this. No. I'll handle it. Not. We do not fear your magic, little wizard, little wizard, wizard. We have answered the mother's call. We are venom to all who oppose her. And you are launch. <laughs> venom. We are venom and you are launch. is this going to take to start? Uh, I guess I'll put it on a pause while we wait for it to start again. Alright. We're here. Defeat Fallen Venom to complete the mission. Tip Venom's symbiote binds can be broken 
by attacking them with hero abilities. Powerful enemies like Fallen Venom do not forecast which hero they intend to attack and may attack multiple times on their turn. Watch out. Great. Excuse me. Can we just get into the battle? Well, that certainly escalated quickly. Do I even want to know what that beast is? It calls itself Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider wizard. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with his spleen. Uh, I don't know what detonate. So I guess we could throw that, or maybe not throw it. I guess we just trigger it to explode. So I see that we have the same health that we had last time. But we didn't keep our, ooh, we have heal abilities. We didn't keep our heroism. Didn't I have two heroism left over? So this has knockback. Also don't have a critical card, I think. What does dark ability mean? I don't know. Uh, well, it seems like a free chance to get some damage is this card right here. But, oh, this doesn't have quick. Never mind. This has quick, though. And how much do these do? This does 15. That does. So should I draw first, though? Should probably draw first to plan out my turn. Level up. Feeling strong today. You can level up in the middle of combat. Five health, two offense. He just does more damage now. Interesting. So does each hit apply two bleed? So like if I did it twice to the same guy, would that apply four bleed? Well, let's start with this. This is no trifling matter. We can't interact with that. I still don't know what the blue outline things mean. Oh, they must just be like interactables, as in like you could throw people into them, I guess. But like, why is this not an interactable? Here, I guess we could test it. Is this an interactable? Oh, it has like special effects. So like if I throw him into that, he gets electrocuted. This is just a thing. If I could throw him into that, it would probably also electrocute. But if I throw him into this barrel, it does way more damage and it'll kill that other guy. And that should let me use my heal ability then as well. I wasn't sure I'd be able to throw around the boss. Well, I would have liked to have seen what happened there, but I guess we understand the outcome. 
So we don't know what he's doing. After being melee attack, 50% chance to gain symbiote skin and bind to the next melee attacker. Bind and stun, only restrain for one action. Attacks cannot be resisted. Cannot be knocked into drops. What? I don't know what that means. What is a drop? Okay, so I don't have enough heroism to use stake. I could do this. I can't knock him back far enough, so it's probably not worth it to do that. I should probably just heal Doctor Strange. Because this also gives a lot of heroism. The light is on our side. Ooh, now I level up. I feel stronger already. Six health to offense. We could use our redraws. It's kind of hard to use your redraws well because a lot of times you get to the end of the turn before you know what you wanted to redraw. How far does this thing go? Can we hit him with it? Probably. So we still have our move. Oh, that's cool. It tells you where every interactable on the map, what direction you would throw it from where you are. I wonder if I could throw him into that other barrel over there. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, that, that was just an attack. We weren't even throwing the thing. We just jumped on it and used it like a springboard. Gotcha. Alright, well, I mean, this turn went pretty well. Mother tells us to hurry! Son, you're struggling! Ow. I did 18 damage. It appears they bolstered their forces. A hero is bound and unable to act. Use other hero abilities to damage the binding and free them. Bindings will be removed with any damage similar to minions. Okay. This house belongs to mother. So we drew four cards this time. Belong to us. I obviously... Start with your maybe six enemy. cards is your hand Burn. size? Your delicious brains. Are the rest of your mother's children so chatty? Thankfully, no. Okay, hold up. This one's probably going to be useful to get two more attacks. I wonder if we can use quick skills on this stuff. And if it counts as a kill or not. Probably not would be my guess, but... Give hero cards in your hand plus five damage until played or discarded. an awkward situation, huh? Cause I don't have enough room for two attack cards, I don't think. Well, maybe I do. Let's... Wait, hold on. Did we try this before? No, not with a full hand. So let's try it and see if it only gives us one card or if it gives us two. Should aid me in my fight. 
Okay, so now we have seven cards in our hand. Might want to use that. That's pretty good. But I also want to start using Blade's uh, Bleed. But I also want to save you. So, if I pick up a double kill, though... There's no use picking up a double kill. Or is there? I'm trying to think this through. Like, can you save? It's immune to knockback. You can't actually save her. Alright, well, I guess the logical play is to kill both of these guys. Prepare yourself. What does that mean? Start next turn with four card plays. Oh, because we played this. Oh, but using two of them doesn't give you any more. Gotcha. Um, I feel like we just can't save our hunter right here. At least not this turn. Oh, but if I use this, then I can't use steak. So tough. Oh, I forgot about redraw. This might be a good time to redraw this. Quick strike. We probably don't need this. Okay, we got two quick strikes. We could cast this. And then use this to weaken his offense. It applies two weeks, so it's probably for two turns. Okay, now he levels. So he got health and offense, and so now this hurts even more. Let's do that. Okay, that w I didn't realize that was a melee attack. All right, melee attacks against Fallen Venom can trigger his Join Us passive and activate Symbiote Skin. When Symbiote Skin is active, Fallen Venom will bind to the next hero that melee attacks him. After triggering Symbiote Skin, use ranged or area attacks to reset Fallen Venom. Oh, it, it resets it? Removed with non-melee damage, or at end of turn. Okay, I wasn't planning on melee damaging you again. So what can I do here? Can I use this in any way to hit him? Oh, I wonder if I could use this to save her. That's an interesting thought. I kind of... Oh, Blade is in the range of that. He can save her. Here it comes. Hmm, 
1K, and we probably want to get Doctor Strange out of here. So we still have our move. Uh, it says it might hit him. I'll walk back here and see if it's gonna hit him or not. What cost two? It would hit him. Ah, uh, but there's no way I can get the angle right to actually hit him into something. I should just wait. I do want him over here though, I think that's fine. So I think we'll end our turn like that. Monoforms are for the weak. Ow. Like being hit by a hell lord. Okay, he didn't do Oh, because he was weak. Yeah, that might have killed someone if I didn't weaken him first, huh? We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty fear. I shall fill your belly with my blade, demon. Okay, I don't think we quite would have died, but it would have been kind of close. If we hadn't weakened him. He's still weakened, though. So he's got two minions. I want that whip skill. The whip skill is nice, but he's not getting it. Okay, if I... There's no way I can get you to get knocked back into that. Huh? Okay, hold up. Experiment with this. You could throw you all the way into that barrel, but that doesn't particularly help us a lot. What about this? Okay, it can't really knock you into anything. Oh, this does five damage, even though it usually does zero damage. I was wondering why it did damage to you. So that means I can actually kill you by just using that on you like that. Okay, I see. And we can also draw the last two attack cards played. Okay, I think I got an idea. Can I... I want you to not be there, though. Can I... Like, I want my hero to be over here and attack from there. There doesn't seem to be a way to choose where they attack from. Oh well, I guess that's fine. You are lucky to still be breathing. Alright, and then we'll use this. And I'm just using this as a free kill. By the will of the old gods. Find a new line of work, friend. Alright, so now we're going to use Blade to do some stuff. Blade is going to start applying Bleed. Get some. And he has ranged attacks, so that's good. You first. And then more Bleed. Time to bleed. Oh, I thought it missed. <laughs> we will heal faster than you. Okay. This unit takes 12 damage. So it's based off of his... The bleed damage is... I don't know how the bleed works, actually. It might be... 3 damage for every bleed point that we have. Or it might... I guess it was 10 before, so maybe it's 12 now because his offense is 12. Maybe that's how it works. And then, so how much health do you have? 30, you're dead for sure. Oh, I can't, hold on. When does he take the bleed? 
at the end of his turn. Mm. He should still be dead, though. I just need to do this in the correct order. Can you do this? Not from this angle very well. Oh, I see. Uh, each person has XP down here in the bottom left. It seems like based off of how many actions you take. So we should try and get our hunter a little bit more XP because Blade's going to finish this fight. So why don't we go over here. I'm trying to figure out a way to knock him into that barrel, but I don't think it's going to be possible from this angle. Stop stalling! Oh, maybe? Okay, that's just straight up a kill, huh? But I could do this instead and then let Blade finish him? Nah, I'll just throw him into the barrel. Get the XP with the Hunter. I don't know how XP works. I don't know. It seems... Because, like, the increments are... They seem like it's very incremented. So I don't know if you're getting more XP for knocking people out or if you're just getting XP for taking actions. Uh, so I guess we'll see after this, maybe. You had your chance to escape. And we're at this failed loading screen again. All right, I'll be back in a second. Oh. He's doing a whole bunch of yelling, and then when I clicked off, it unfortunately stopped the sound. Can we get the sound back, please? Such easy prey. I thought we beat him. Oh, it's Spider-Man. Yeah, I broke it. Friendly, neighborly, spiderly. I was in the neighborhood, you know, being friendly seemed like you folks could use a hand. Yeah, I can't get it. It's like not tabbing in correctly anymore. Jeez, Eddie, what happened? That sort of horrifying, terrible new look? I don't want to really want to read Spider-Man's lines. Like, the, the cutscene is working fine, but... You can't pause during a cutscene either. It just has the hold to skip. Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! Well... I think it's obvious that this game is not ready to be played quite yet, huh? But I mean, it's fun. Like, I really want to like this game. I just... I can't play it in this current state. <laughs> it's too annoying. You could overlook, like, a certain amount of... Bugs, glitches, stuttering, and stuff like that. But, like... I can't. I can't overlook it at the moment. It's fun. The gameplay is good. Um... And the story seems interesting, at least moderately so far, but I just, you can't do anything with this. Even the mouse is lagging at the moment. <laughs> and now it's just froze. All right, I'll, I'll pause again. We'll get out of the, do I even want to pause? Every time I pause, when I come back in, it's like, it gets worse. It's definitely not helping that I keep 
tabbing in and out while trying to record. Uh, so part of me just wants to wait through this black screen. And we'll see whatever cutscene is afterwards, and then hopefully we can save it up. And I mean, it just needs a patch, right? Hopefully a patch doesn't make you, like, restart. We got a three-star mission rating. But by restart, I mean, like, the whole, like, your campaign or whatever. Marvel Comics Group, Doctor Strange. Sure. Gloss bonus. I don't know what gloss is. We got mission complete, finished in five turns, villain encounter, difficulty normal. And we got this gamma coil. Well, I pressed the continue button. <laughs> Why does it have to be bad? It's a fun game. That's a shame. I was really looking forward to playing this, like, right now. So I guess I'll have to probably just wait a little bit longer. We got another full-fledged loading screen. If we're going back to the... The Midnight Suns layer that takes forever to load. I mean, that map is apparently huge, what we looked at, but it takes way too long to load. And even after we turned like all the settings down, it didn't change it at all. I feel like I can't tell if it's. It seems like it's worse now. I doubt it's because I turned the settings down. I, it's more likely because we're. At a different part in the game that's just slightly worse but like this is not quite unplayable but too annoying for me to want to play it like this um again i i guess i'll pause for this loading screen and we'll get back and hopefully they'll they'll patch it soon and we can actually get into this game because it seems like so much fun all right we got another cutscene Although tabbing out has messed up the volume again. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. Well, this is a shame. Yeah, I mean, if it didn't take five minutes to load at the loading screen that I wouldn't have to tab out to pause the video. Uh. Been risking the lives of yourself and your teammates just to play the hero. This is the fire dragon all over again. Fire dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall, I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Uh, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda. She means I could have died. I could have died. Again. Putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. And like, even after the cutscene. Like, we're just frozen here in time. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna save the game after this. I don't think anything else is happening. So... That's going to do it for now. We're going to have to put this on pause for the moment. 
until it gets a little bit better because it's just too annoying at the moment and we got pokemon anyways so we'll play pokemon some more and then hopefully come maybe a week or a few weeks time we can get back to this it seems really fun so i'm still excited to play it and it's just a shame that i was waiting and then it came out like this but anyways hopefully you enjoyed that one look forward to more of it in the future um and hopefully you will enjoy pokemon in the meantime anyways that's gonna do it for this one hopefully you enjoyed and i will see you next time